Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. And I am back on Angela's cardigan again. <laughs> I haven't been able to do any of this for a few days, so I haven't to to get the two little cardigans done for my friend so I can take them tonight for I'm gonna go to my bingo. So I finally got them finished. But I had a few little things to do today, um, so I've only just been able to sit down doing do knitting. That's a bit, getting a bit bright on my screen there. That's it. <laughs> so, it's two little cardigans, one little one I showed you. And little lemon rosebud lace one. So that's two, two little cardigans I have to take tonight. The, um, both of them were made with wool that I got from Happy Mail. This one, my screens keep going bright. This the lemon one, this was the King Cole. The screen just seems to go on very bright. So you can't see what's what I'm showing you. It's a baby, baby double knit, the king coal. That's what Sandra sent me, one of the balls that Sandra sent. And that was the lemon one. And I don't have a ball for this one. This was what Carol Ann sent me. And there was no label on it because um, Carol Ann had been using me, I'd taken the, um, the layers off, but this one I think I'm sure it is four ply. Carol would probably know because I knitted up like four ply. I knitted on 375 needles instead of the four millimeter, and it has, I can tell by the feel of it, it's four ply. So I'm glad I've done just slightly larger than what I do with double knitting so it came out the right size in uh, four ply so I have those two to take to my friend and the only charge will be for her will be my drink tonight I only have one glass of shandy that's all I have um, as naturally because I'm driving but I don't charge that both balls of wool were what given to me happy meal so I don't charge anyone for something that I didn't pay for myself. And I have been out in my garden. I got my car out of the garage early because I have to back it out of the, um, the garage up the drive and move it. I'm trying to get rid of this bright light on the... I don't know where it's coming from. Maybe I should have made this before it started getting dark, I think. <laughs> but I like to, I like to back my, my car out of the garage, up the drive, before it gets dark. Because it's not a straight line out of my garage. When I come out the garage, I come out and slightly turn slightly to get right onto the top of the um the driveway and I don't like coming out and doing it in the dark. It's I'm always frightened I'm gonna hit the fence. Because it never seems to, to work the same as it does in the daylight the <laughs> reversing for me. But anyway I got it out and I thought oh I'd better clean the um the windows. Well inside the windows because of a night time when I'm driving and the lights off the other cars in the other direction blind me and that and sometimes it's a lot to do with the um what smears and things is on the um the screen i tend to wipe the screen with my hand if this you know, so we get like greasy smears and that on so i thought i'm going to wipe the um the inside of the um the windscreen and the, the side doors and, and wipe the side mirrors because they were a bit dirty. The whole car needs to go to a car wash. I have one of those things for washing the car myself. 
but it's still cold these days like <laughs> and when i was out there i did all that and i thought well i better put some more air in the check the tires as well because they didn't feel too smooth the last time i went up the um the a1 last week when i was going up my friends just didn't seem a smoother one i thought I might need some air in the tires so i checked the tires and they weren't too bad they're just slightly down that's that's also there was all one or two little jobs i had to do of course little chat with one or two of the neighbors while i was out there <laughs> one of the fellas a few doors up the street you came and gave me a, um, a hug and a kiss and happy new year he says i've never seen you since the new year I says, Keith, the call him. I says, well, I don't usually come out in the um, the call, Keith. I says, when I do come out, it's straight out, straight out in my car and straight out. So <laughs> it's usually um, if I go out the back way when I bump into um, into people because we have a lot of traps and that. And I go that way to, if I walk to the shops and that, that way. So my car's all tidy and, and I won't forget to do the same to my glasses because sometimes it's my glasses that just need a good wash sometimes when I'm driving in the car and the, the headlights off the other cars are blinding you. And if your glasses aren't as clean as they should be, if you wear glasses like me, that makes it even worse. So anyway, I'll be away to my bingo tonight. I'm going to have to tidy myself up a little bit and do something with my hair and... And I even put this, I put this, it's an old big chunky cardigan I put on to go out and sort out what I was doing with the um, the car because it was absolutely freezing outside. But when I was at my granddaughter's yesterday, you know, as we get older, we forget names and things like that. And not that we forget them, we just get mixed up sometimes. And I was talking to little Tommy and Eddie. They were both in the um, sitting on the settee beside me. And I said something to Tommy and I called him Eddie by your sick. <laughs> he says, Nana, um, Tommy. <laughs> I said, I know you are. I just got a bit mixed up. And that made me think about years ago, my mother-in-law. My husband was one of four brothers. <laughs> Oh, something on my phone there. <laughs> it was one of four brothers and I used to laugh at his mother when we were courting and that. And she was talking about our uh, boys and she used to go through the whole four of them before she come to the right name for whoever she was talking to. And we used to laugh, you know, I used to laugh her and uh, her, her name, Minnie, her name was. And she used to say to me, um, hey, never mind you laughing. She says, you'll be like that one day. And we used to laugh and say, oh, don't be daft. You're going to realise how she's probably up, up there laughing at us now, like, because uh, she used to do the same with the um, the grandkids when all the grandkids come along. Well, there was nine, nine of them from us, four families, like, and there was only one girl amongst them and the rest were all boys. And she used to do the same with all of those. She used to go through all the boys' names before she got to, to the right one. And then I think it was at Christmas time. Yes, it was at Christmas time. There was two of my sons. We were with two of my sons, um, Tony. Well, his name's Anthony, really, but we've always called him Tony. It was Tony and Ian, my youngest one. And I was talking to um, talking to Tony, and I called him Ian by mistake. And he says, look, ma'am, Ian's over there. This is Tony here. I said, oh, shut up, man. I see it's just a little bit of, you know, a little dementia thing coming in. He says, coming in. He says, you've always been like that. <laughs> but that's it. It's even when I was younger, it was hard to remember names and that. Now I have trouble remembering names, you know, of these actors and things. You see somebody on the television and you want to tell, like I tell my granddaughter, oh, so-and-so was something in something good on the telly the other night, you know, and you know, oh, so-and-so, I can't remember what his name was. <laughs> but I'm be away out shortly. I'm having a 
just sitting out. Well, it's only five o'clock now. I'm going to do a little bit of knitting. I don't go out at half six. I've had a, just a couple of sandwiches because the girls are all bringing food and that in. So I only have a little bite before I go because the amount of stuff that they, they come in. In fact, there's, there's far too much that they usually bring with the uh, pies and quiches and all sorts like that. So I usually only have a sandwich and um, my cup of tea. That's what I'm having now. And I'm just going to sit and knit for an hour and a half before I have to go out. I don't know what it is. The screen has just gone bright again. I'll have to check the video and see whether the video is the same, whether it's the actual screen or the video. So I'll catch you all another time. So thumbs up and subscribe. Bye for now.